Hey guys, it is Dorothy, Devin, and Mason with Six Day Rant. We are actually at the nursery. We're gonna be getting some plants for our fall slash winter garden. You guys excited? I'm excited because we get to do like broccoli and lettuce and cabbage. Broccoli. Yeah, Devin doesn't like broccoli, but I love it. It's super delicious. Ooh. fresh broccoli so it's gonna be exciting that we get to bank, uh, plant that and we're gonna actually do the planting tomorrow because we have small group tonight we're gonna take you along with us while we go and pick out our plants you guys excited mm -hmm. I'm excited wait how are we gonna do it tomorrow we're gonna plant them tomorrow we have church I'm gonna do it during the day oh, yeah okay. while y'all are at school that's, that's gonna be fun. my job so y'all won't have much to worry about I, I'm gonna punch you punch you I'm just kidding. None. All right, guys, we'll see you in just a second once we get out of this truck and get over there to yep. the arbor. They look really good. They look like really healthy plants, so we're really they excited. Do. I know, they're really bright and green and pretty. So we'll see you guys in just a second. Ooh, let's do more of these. Look how cool these look, guys. Ooh. Those look really cool. What is a tart? Sometimes, I'm not even gonna do Oh, yes. I don't really care. He I doesn't like punch. Brussels sprouts. <laughs> he doesn't like Brussels sprouts, Dorothy. Yeah, look, broccoli. I want to do what like three of these. Brussels green sprouts. magic. What's what? green magic broccoli? Yep. I want to do like broccoli three of these. green. But it says magic. It's, it's... What is this? Cabbage. Cabbage? We'll do one of that one. Ah. We're going in the jungle. Right. Red cabbage. Is this red cabbage? Yes, sir. Oh, no, that says Ruby Perfection. We can do one of these. I tried to one here. never came up with because I think. What I are they? Bok choy. We, it's like for. Bok choy. Yeah. Like a Thai foods, but we we've used it before. You okay, Mason? Yeah. Did you see our rosemary plant finally died after yes. like three years? Here's some new ones. Yep. Do you need help with anything? No, sir. Thank you. No problem. How many rosemary plants did we put last year? We only had that one that kept growing. And it finally died. Can we water it really quickly? Uh. Hold on, I've got to go find some more boxes. Oh, thank you, buddy. Uh, do you all have any more of those boxes? Yes, we do have to Thank you. Oh, he's eating one right here. How was your day, sir? Good. Thank you. You're welcome. We got us another box and a squirrel. It doesn't smell this. It's chocolate mint and it smells like chocolate. It really does. Chocolate mint. Alright, I think that's all the we have. Wait, Dorothy, is that what they use to make mint chocolate ice cream? Maybe. I doubt it, but maybe. <laughs> now for our... I think that might be it. Let me go look on the other side really quick. Okay. I think that's it. Uh, I can carry one, you can carry one, and Mason can carry one. Alright guys, look. We got all the good plants. I'll it's get all nice trees. and green. <laughs> We're loaded down. Mason, yeah. you lucked out. You got very little in your lap. So we also, on top of the plants, we got four bags. Ooh, I'm out of breath. Those bags 
of compost are heavy. So we got four bags of the cotton burr compost that we'll put into the beds as well. I'm gonna do that all tomorrow. Now it's a long drive home, a whole 30 minutes. We'll see you guys when we get back home. We're gonna take care of all the animals and make sure everybody's taken care of before small group. And then we're gonna have fun tonight. Yep. So we see you guys when we get home. So we made it back home. I just wanna show you, look at all these. I am so excited. We've got all these plants to plant tomorrow. That's obviously not gonna fill up our beds. I still got my mask on. Oops. That's obviously not gonna fill up all of our beds. See right there? By the way, shout out to my amazing son, Devin. He weeded those garden beds last night all by himself. No help or anything. And I'm just so proud of him. He he worked for probably at least an hour, hour and a half, and took care of that. I'm just so proud of him. He took the initiative to do that for me. So that's one less step for me to have to take care of tomorrow. Everybody's loud today. So I locked the chickens back up again because they started laying their, um, I'm sorry, they started laying their eggs all over the place again. Hey guys. Hey. I don't think I put that lid on all the way because it's out of water it looks like. So they might, oh, that was mean. I think they have enough water over there. I'll check it in a minute. And they have food. I'm just going to see what everybody needs first. The goats, they do not like the fact that we hooked up the the uh, fence charger so they keep getting shocked now they can't plow through it the ducks have food and water and then we're gonna walk out check on the meat chickens and the pigs just to kind of see what they need it's a really easy night I love whenever it's easy because I'm gonna go inside and cook some good dinner I'm gonna cook spaghetti for everybody I'm really excited about it. I love when I cook spaghetti the boys are inside Devin has homework and I I'm not 100% sure what Mason's doing. I think he's just visiting with Steven. Our meat chickens are doing great out here. Of course, we've been moving their coop every day. Well, actually, we've been doing it every other day because they, um, they're not quite big enough to make a big mess in one day. We just want to keep them nice and clean. Almost there. The pigs got filled up yesterday with feed, so they should be good check on these guys hey guys oh you've got plenty of food y'all are doing so good excuse you they're staying nice and clean too just like we like so they're good on food today they'll need it in the morning and that and they'll need to be moved in the morning Hey piggies, pork chop. I swear, every time I'm over here, you're always eating. You're getting fat, dude. Is that good water? My big beast. There's everybody else snoozing away. <laughs> so everybody is good out here. I'm just going to get the uh, laying hens water situated while I'm thinking about it because, uh, like I said, sometimes the sill on those waters, they don't fully seal correctly and so the water ends up just leaking. I'm not sure if that's what happened. It didn't get too hot today so I doubt they drank it all or it's just still full and I can't tell. So I'm going to check on that and check on their little five gallon water. Other than that, everybody's taken care of. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you keep a lookout because our next video will be me taking care of our garden, getting it all planted and situated. I'm really, really excited about it because like I said, my favorite vegetable is broccoli and I want some fresh broccoli. I don't think I've ever had fresh broccoli. The first year we did a garden, we planted some and we didn't realize that it needed so much shade because we were in the learning process still. So we actually, our broccoli and all our lettuce burned, you know, being so south of Texas, it gets really hot in the summertime because that's when we first planted our very first garden. And I was so disappointed because I wanted some broccoli and we just didn't give it enough shade and it just was too hot. So I'm excited for this time. We're going to keep it alive. I'm going to do everything I can. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. And I'll see you next time. Hey, mean rooster. I'm sorry, you're not the mean one. <laughs> you sure are pretty though.